Virgo is an extremely complex machine which makes use of cutting-edge technologies to detect gravitational waves from violent astrophysical events billions of light-years from us. Virgo can achieve the expected performance only if its optical components are accurately positioned and aligned with respect to each other. The procedure to reach this optimal configuration is called lock acquisition. When locked state is acquired and while it is maintained, the interferometer is ready to observe the sky and to possibly detect gravitational waves. Virgo is a giant Michelson interferometer. In a Michelson interferometer, a laser beam is split into two beams. Mirrors reflect the beams back, which recombine at the beam splitter. If the arm length difference is such that the two beam waves exactly cancel each other, no light is detected. This is called destructive interference. A passing gravitational wave distorts spacetime, making one arm slightly shorter and the other arm a little longer by an amount proportional to the unperturbed arm length. The light waves do not cancel each other anymore and a tiny signal can be measured at the detector output port. A partially reflective mirror is then placed in each arm shortly after the beam splitter. In this configuration, the light beams can bounce hundreds of times back and forth between the two arm mirrors before returning to the beam splitter. The effective length of the arms, and so the response of Virgo to gravitational waves, increases a few hundred times. Moreover, the intensity of the light in the so-called fabry perot resonant cavities increases substantially. When the interferometer is dark, at the detector side, all the light reflected from the arms is directed back towards the laser and will be lost. Therefore, a third partially reflective mirror is placed between the laser and the beam splitter. It is called the power recycling mirror, and it redirects the outgoing light back into the interferometer. The laser power inside the arms increases more than 30 times, as well as the intensity of the light on the detector if a gravitational wave would be crossing Virgo. Lock acquisition starts with slightly misaligning the power recycling mirror. In this way, all different control systems can be smoothly engaged with reduced optical power circulating in the interferometer. In order to make the fabry perot cavities work, their length is adjusted in such a way that the light waves bouncing back and forth between the mirror arms interfere constructively. Now, the circulating optical power builds up. The Virgo arms are now locked. Acting on the beam splitter, the optical power on the detector is brought to half of the maximum value and stably kept there. The interferometer is now in recombined mode. Next, the power recycling mirror is realigned and displaced until the light waves from the arms interfere constructively with the light waves from the laser. The light intensity everywhere in the interferometer starts to increase. By moving the beam splitter, the output port of the interferometer is slowly brought to dark. At the same time, the intensity of the light circulating in the detector increases dramatically. When the output port is dark, the light intensity everywhere in the interferometer reaches its maximum. Virgo is in locked state and is ready for gravitational wave detection.